All right, boys, welcome back to the AFC Championship game. Over $1,500 in prize money on the line here. The winner, I believe, gets around $800. So these games are incredibly high stakes. We want to win the money, but of course, we want to do it for the viewers as well, man. All of you guys supporting me. Back-to-back -back bowls in a week would be absolutely insane. Nice little payday, of course, as well. But it's not going to be easy. Our first round matchup here in the AFC Championship is against one of the most overpowered, completely well-rounded teams I have ever seen in my entire life. Let's go ahead and check it out real quick. So to kick things off, he's got Saquon Barkley right here, one of the most explosive running backs in the game. He can catch and run routes as well. He had his speed upgrade with Scary Terry up to 95 speed. X-Factor, X-Factor, AJ Green playing tight end, age reduced to 20 years old. He's got Cole McDonald playing quarterback, Amari Cooper. He's got Trevon Diggs at corner. It looks absolutely insane. I mean, super young, 6'1", inside shade, and then deep route KO as well. So obviously, he's going to be running a lot of man coverage. Jeremy Chin, super physical, rangy, super tall. Same with Woolen, the rookie corner. Probably the best corner in the game. He has both ability slots unlocked as well. I mean, Jeremy Chin has the inside shade. Our receivers are going to have a tough time getting off the line, getting separation, and our guys aren't that good to begin with. Now, we do have Kittle with route running abilities, but if he happens to put one of his superstar corners across from Kittle with the inside shade ability, it's going to be hard to get separation. I mean, he's got burners in Kez Watkins, one of the most underrated explosive wide receivers in the game. So many low overall, incredibly fast DBs right here, filling out the secondary. He's got Dan Chisena playing free safety. It seems like everybody in every one of my leagues is doing this it makes sense he's tall he's fast i don't know why he's allowed to play safety he must have played there at some point in his career but this team like i said it's absolutely insane it's not going to be an easy game but if we want to win the bowl we want the glory man we have to get it done let's lock in man this is a this is a big start here i love kicking off first making him play offense he's going to be a little bit nervous obviously there's a lot of money on the line so i think we can really pounce apply a lot of pressure hopefully force a turnover early on that's the plan. Obviously, that's like ideal, but I'm sure he'll just, yeah, break a tackle and then crib it or something like that. Now, Saquon Barkley, he's probably going to be willing to run. Um, I probably should come out in a different defense just to stop the base because I feel like that's probably what we're going to get early. And that was really bad. That should have been a tackle in the backfield. All right, flipping his running back, he's probably going to pass here. I uh, had my um, had my slot corner in the middle third right there. I went safeties package. I don't know if he got bumped really bad, if maybe he got put in the wrong adjustment, but he should have been there. That was just a blown coverage, and I don't know what the reason is. I'll have to go back and watch, but yeah, not an ideal start. I mean, we got to make that tackle in the backfield. If I make that tackle in the backfield, I can just stay in dollar, but obviously we have to respect the run if, if it's working, even if it's not pretty. Yeah, but the thing about CFM too is like it's super offensive. So like if you get one stop, it's usually enough to win a game. Um, even though I did draft pretty heavy defensively. Actually, I'm going to, I'm actually going to make a change next drive. I actually have an idea of, of what I want to run. Running spinner on top of that is like, it's going to be pretty annoying. I won't lie. Four inside shades. Nice. I mean, this is like. This is, uh, this is CFM, man. Four inside shades, deep route KOs. He's got uh, Dan Chisena, 55 overall safety with, uh, with a neck roll and a visor. Threat detector, threat detector. Come on, ETN. ETN, why is my dude running so slow? Come on, ETN? Dude is running so slow for some reason. I think he's going to run, commit. Kittle, come on, baby. There we go. There we go. Good drive. Great drive. All right, so I'm actually going to go to Nickel over here. Now, the one weakness of his team is he doesn't have any offensive line abilities. We obviously have Daniil Hunter and Bosa. Kyron Johnson or Kieron Johnson? Kyron Johnson? Something. I don't know. He's like a 94 speed defensive end rookie for me. Makes a huge play. I'm going to really take advantage of the fact that he's not using superstar tackles. And right there, I mean, that was a total guess pass. Total guess pass. We can live with reads like that all day long. We got crazy pressure off both edges. That was a good click on by him. Try to punch the ball out. Good dog. Good dog. 
Tackles, tackles, there we go. Stop the run, make him pass, and let Daniil Hunter and Bosa eat, man. He's actually going to motion Barkley out here to tight end. I'm not too worried about that. Come back inside, pick it! Oh, come on, Johnson! Oh, that was almost a pick six. Play action to slow down the blitzers. Overthrow? Come on, baby, let's go. Let's go. Woo, I think he went high ball right there. I think that was a mistake. I think he had him. I think he had him. He's going to take his three. That's a great stand. Got a little bit lucky. We'll absolutely take it, man. We'll absolutely take it. All day long. All day long, we'll take it. All right, go get seven. And uh, we're in control of this game. Kittle. Kittle. Okay. Great dot. Okay, so he's blitzing less to strive, putting guys in zones to kind of slow down this man-beating play. I'm going to start motioning out my running back right here and see if that helps. Shark. Nice stock. Click on, cut it off. Beautiful. All right, looks like he's... And maybe a baseline look now. He's got a safety all the way up there. I don't know what he's doing here. Nice scramble, Purdy. Let's go, baby. Come on, Kittle. Come on, Kittle. Let's go, man. Let's go, baby. Real physical football, man. Yeah, you got very fast DBs with, with good abilities. I don't care. We're going to run right through him, man. Come on, George. Can't baseline your nickel over. He's not stopping a drag if you do that. He's got a naked offensive line. And with Bosa and Daniel Hunter, they should be feasting from a four-man rush pretty consistently. And we're going to make this guy pass. Make him make good reads. And if he's able to do that and beat us that way, like, you know, hats off to him. But I don't think he can. Beautiful, man. Intentional grounding. Let's go, baby. Come on. Now, it's pretty smart. He's actually going to play action, which kind of slows down the pass rushing chems. But my guys are such high overalls. That it really shouldn't matter. We should be winning our individual mat matchups frequently, regardless of whether it's play action or not. Now, running back streak is what I'm watching out for here. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Let's go, Trey Flowers. Guess seven, K Mac. Guess seven. Got to score consistently on this O, though. He might be in zone now. He might be in zone. With this look, I think this is just DB fire. Hit our check down. Throw the block, Judy. We'll take that. So, I mean, if he's going into zone, like, that's already a massive win for us. You can tell he's not very comfortable defensively. He doesn't really know how to slow us down. We're mixing in a lot of stuff here offensively. And he doesn't have any zone KO ability. So, I mean, zone without that is just not very good. With the alignment on the left side, I think he might have gone to, like, spinner here. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Lazard. Lazard, man. Come on, baby. Hey, PA boot, too good against man. If you run man, I will run PA boot over every play, and your defense will be fried. Defense will be fried. Tackles. There we go. Come on. Okay, this could be big corner, little corner on the left side, so I'm going to try to sprint out there with my user. But if I see anything back over the middle, I'll cut back to it, try to bait it. Come here. Come here, man. Go get him, Daniil. Go get him, Daniil. All right, boys. Let's heat him up right here. I'm looking at you. Bosa, Daniil Hunter. Runs play action to slow it down. We're cutting back. Ah, good dot, good dot. I should have stuck with it. I should have stuck with it. I was kind of hoping we get pressure by then, though. He did have a lot of time in the pocket. Right? That was a good play. That was a good play. Yep. Stop the run, baby. Stop the run. He's chewing clock here. He's going to try to make this the last possession before half, which is probably a smart thing to do, considering he's already down essentially two stops. But I feel like our defense has been too good, and oh my god, we almost lurked him again. We are so close. Keep running that. Keep running that, baby. All day long. Let's even get stingy down here. Come on, Bosa. Come on, Bosa. God, we can't give up a drag. Not a drag, gentlemen. I tried to bait it. He just had too much time right there. I wanted to put one of my uh, defensive tackles, Johnson, my 93 speed guy, and like a three rack to help that, but I couldn't get the adjustment off in time. Now we have ball to half as well. We're up four here. 
Let's drive down, get seven, leave him with no time left, and then obviously we'll, we'll go go from there in the second half. My only focus right now is get seven, leave him with as little time as possible. So I'm gonna take a look at his abilities here. I wanna find the two DBs that have inside shade, but no knockouts. So it's Diggs who he's usering. Gonna max pro here to slow down this heavy, heavy blitz. Easy dots, man. I might actually run this down to the two minute warning. I think I'm gonna do it. He's going to dollar, dollar here. Throw the ball away, don't be greedy, don't be greedy. Okay, so he's gonna send the, send the heat here. Dots, great composure, man. Plays hard flats, we take the top off with the little flood concept. Beautiful, man, beautiful. Needed that one. He can snap the ball very quickly into the two-minute warning. I'm going to hit Lazard here. He's got no knockout on Alante, man. He doesn't have a second ability slot. Doesn't have a second ability slot. We can quick snap him under the two-minute warning. I'm going to I'm gonna quick snap again. I had X wide open. I know. I saw it so late. I saw it so late. Mistake for me. Mistake for me. Go Purdy, nice scramble. I'm surprised he's not using his timeouts here, so I'm gonna run this down to about 22 seconds, I think, and I'll use mine. Now, obviously, we really want seven. Seven is is perfect here. Three it would be kind of a disappointment, but we also don't want to give him the ball back. So it looks like he's gonna be running man, obviously, here. Purdy, no timeouts left. This is a little risky here. If we take a sack, it could potentially end the half. Kittle, oh, come on, man, come on, come on. Now, normally I would probably just kick here and not be greedy, but I'm gonna have threat detector on third down. He's gonna blitz. Come on, Brock. Let's go, Judy. Let's go, baby. What a dot. Come on, baby. Let's go. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. I think so. I, I think the outside left corner there on that post, like we do have some separation, but I think that's Woolen, who is 99 speed. Yeah, and he has the deep route KO, so there's there's no reason to test that. Absolutely no reason to test that. It's not going to be open. Let's go inside zone here. Blitz off the right side. Okay. Well, I had him, but I got caught in kind of a spin cycle right there with Purdy. I thought I tried to set my feet, but I, I guess I had too much momentum. That could have been really bad. We did have him. But I gotta make sure my feet are set before I mess up. Okay, four man rush. I'm gonna float right. George Kittle, dot. Run him over too, George. Run him over too, George. Come on, baby. Baja. Let's go, baby. Come on, George. Fight for me, kid. Fight for me. I'm gonna try to bump Kez. That way we don't give up any one play touchdowns to him. I'm gonna like run out there and just bump him. I couldn't get there. It's too fast. Good D. Good dot. We got pressure. He did have a step up there, but again, we do have deep knockout KO, so I don't know if we were actually going to make a play on that or not. Haven't seen anybody do this in bunch. Motion over the running back. Goes out route. Wasn't expecting that. Good play. Tackles. Just make him work here. Nothing easy. Nothing easy. So I think when he does that motion, I think it's a, a flip the running back, not a flip the play, but I could be wrong. It's all right. We can look at that. D pick it. Oh, come on, Bosa. Looking running back out of the backfield and then cut back over the middle. It's overthrown. Eddie Jackson, get off of me. Come on, Eddie. Let's go, baby. 
Yes, sir. All right, take take time. Oh, he might be out of here. It might be a quick one. We might have to package the uh, conference championship and the Super Bowl in the same video. All right, man. There we go. Nice performance. I was a little scared about that one. I won't lie. You know, he he has a really good team, but obviously his weakness was his offensive line. I think Daniel Hunter and Bosa showed that. Next game, Super Bowl. Next game, Super Bowl, man. Let's pu we punched our ticket to the bowl, but we got to finish, man. We got to finish. Now, we were actually watching the AFC Championship game on my Twitch and probably one of the most absurd endings I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, my Lord, brother. What was supposed to get open here? Oh my God. Oh my God. I almost just jumped out of my chair. Now, obviously the most exciting part about advancing to Super Bowl week when you're not playing it, obviously we are playing it. So the most exciting thing is playing for $800, but also we get to see our season long dev upgrades. One of them is ETN, our superstar running back, obviously had a monster season, both on the ground and in the air. Now defensively, our only upgrade was really our user Melifanu. He goes up to star dev. I think Trey Flowers goes up to star dev. I don't know if he was already a star. I think he might have gotten that upgrade. Either way though, decent upgrades. Look at a small XP boost as well. And of course we have the awards as well. Tyler Huntley wins MVP. We obviously played the Bengals in the divisional round. That guy was running the QB, the QB draw, the five wide, five streaks on the field. Really difficult to stop, super explosive, was completely lost on defense. So it makes a lot of sense why Huntley was able to win the MVP. You know, Nick Bosa actually does win AFC Defensive Player of the Year, which is awesome. I feel like he had a great year. However, I'm thinking of trading him going into season two, him and Hunter both. We'll talk about it later though. We're more focused on this game right in front of us. And the last thing we have to do before we actually jump into the game is check out this guy's roster. And it isn't nearly as good as the last guys. I mean, he does. He does and of course, the last thing we have to do before we actually jump into the game is check out this guy's roster. And it is OK. I mean, it's not bad. It's very top heavy, you know, especially offensively. I think this guy's defense is not very good. Now, his Justin Simmons did win NFC Defensive Player of the Year. But again, with DeAndre Hopkins being age reduced, with OBJ having X Factor abilities, Jonathan Taylor, 95 speed, and of course, Patrick Mahomes. I mean, getting stops is not going to be easy, even though obviously that was our focus. Uh, you know, as far as building our team goes. But with that being said, let's go ahead, let's jump into the game and let's finish the job. All right, boys, here we go. The rookie Brock Purdy in the Super Bowl. ETN, our newly upgraded superstar running back, Daniel Hunter, Patrick Mahomes, man. Can we slow him down? Can we slow him down? He's, this guy runs tight offset tight end in the Saints playbook. Incredibly challenging to stop. We'll have to run a different defenses find out which one he's least comfortable against and then just go from there man let's get off to a good start here we get ball first got screamed out right there had some stuff open i didn't want to really throw the drag i felt like that was maybe a bit too risky early on run the ball here etn nice run nice pickup Little playmaker action. Purdy showing off the mobility. Yes, sir. Up to the 27. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go. Play action. Block the blitz. George Kittle. I mean, come on, man. That's exactly the look we want. We got to get open right there, buddy. Going right back to it, man. I like the look. Maybe not so much. I have why, but it's like, dude, I'm getting mauled up front right now. I don't want to, I'm not going to do anything stupid on my first draft, so I'm not really throwing some stuff that I might normally throw. Three man rush. Wow, I got mauled. Man. What is, does he even have anything on his defensive line? Like, why, why am I getting instantly shedded like that? I'll take my three here. Take my three. Wow. Uh, that's a non-ability DN. Chucking my left tackle just immediately to the ground. Okay. I don't know why my auto flip is the wrong way. Good hit. Come here, come on. Oh, 
Oh, come on. No way that doesn't pop right to me. Come on, dude. Wow. <clears throat> wow. D, come on. Great D. Come on, go for it. Gonna kick his three? That's a great stand right there, man. Giving up seven, we would have obviously been in not such a great position, especially early on, so... This is a good, good result for us defensively. Run the ball here on a spread line, and two people instantly free. Okay, we won't do that again. That was a mistake. I'm going run again here. I don't think he's gonna expect it. Okay, generous fall forward right there on ETN. Probably should have been in about three or four yards less. Wow, that's a soft drop. That's a soft drop, Lazard. We got to catch that, buddy. All right, let's see. What do we want to do here? Terrible, awful, awful throw. I mean, come on, man. That's wide open. That's 88 speed, Justin Simmons. Like, come on, man. Wide open. Bad throw, throwing behind him. All right, come on. Oh, man. He's, he's going to throw a pick eventually, man. He's already thrown quite a few. That could have easily been books. Frustrating. All right, that's fine. Judy, there we go, kid. All right, we got to get in the end zone here. We got to get in the end zone. Come on. Man, I mean, I don't know who number two is. Bradley Chubb. That dude's the greatest player I've, I've truly ever seen. Good dots. Let's go, Lazard. Let's go, Lazard. Out, out, Lazard. Come on. Let's go. Good dot. Clean it up a little bit offensively. Start blocking. Start blocking, and we're going to start scoring, man. Start blocking, and we're going to start scoring. Although we did get shedded pretty quickly up the middle. Come on. Let's get a stop now. Let's get a stop. Playing good defense so far this game. Live with that all day long, man. Come on. All right, that was frustrating. I mean, it's just it's gonna be high ball streaks, man. We know what we're playing against. It's gonna be high ball streaks, and that's really gonna be the offense. So we gotta figure out how to stop it somehow. All right, again, make this the last drive. We can't give him the ball back. Stay in bounds. Perfect. There we go. Come on, perfect. Did he, <laughs> did he just fall down out of bounds somehow? Come on, man. Are you serious? I need the clock to keep running right there. All right, he did that last time out here. Let's throw a dot. Leaving with 59 seconds, but no timeouts. It's not necessarily the end of the world. Hopefully we can force him into a mistake here. That's a good dot. Can't afford not to take my wide open touchdown. Good blocking right there, fellas. Baby corner. I mean, come on, man. Come on, Kenny. 
It's got to be intentional grounding, man. Come on, bro. Come on. Wow. He just got points out of that. He almost just threw a user pick six, and it goes an inch over our head, and he gets three. I, I can't believe he threw that. Wow. That could have been the play that lost him the game. And instead, it puts us in, a, in an even deeper hole now. Wow. Man, I don't know what I got to do for Eddie Jackson to step up and actually play that. <laughs> Clicked on right there. That was my fault. Wow, that should have been a pick. I mean, what? Oh, man. Wow. What a free form upfield. I mean, that was beautiful. Come on, George. Come on, George. Come on, George. Kittle. Come on, baby. All right. We scored quick. Got to get a stop, man. Our defense has been fine. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit slow right now. I, I won't lie. I could certainly play better defense. He's gotten away with some stuff, man. We'll, we'll, put, we'll put it together this drive. We'll put it together this drive. It's tough to play against, man. It's just quick snap, chuck up a high ball to, to DeAndre Hopkins. It is this quick snap, high ball something to D-hop. I got to just sit on him with my user, bro. For real, for real. I got to just sit on that with my user. It's just snap throw to Hopkins. We're high balling fucking running back wheels out of the backfield, man. Like, it's just silly. All right, here we go. GG's. Wow. Wow, GG's. It's just every play, snap, high ball to D hop over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. There's just nothing I could do about it, unfortunately. GG's. That fucking sucks, dude. <laughs>